Hi guys, I want to make myself another little glider from styrofoam plates and these coffee stirrers. did one years ago and it was pretty successful, I was very pleased with it. Uh, I even made it rubber band powered in the end and I might do that again. But the first thing I want to do is choose a couple of these um, coffee stirrers and I'm actually going to glue them in a T shape to make it more rigid. And I'm going to use this Poundland super glue to do it. Now every time I try and use these little tubes I end up sticking my fingers together which is not a good idea because the problem is you have to pierce the metal top first and as soon as you do that it releases the pressure because you're holding it and it squirts out and you end up with it, or I do, end up with it all over my fingers. So I shall push something down in there to break the seal. use a paper clip. So, so I always end up getting this all over my fingers, which is not a good idea. If you do do that, get super glue over your fingers. Don't panic is the first thing, because you can get your fingers apart again. So just take it gently and you can work the skin apart again. So, but I will try not to do that. soon find out, won't we? The T shape will be much more rigid. I haven't stuck my fingers together yet, but it's not sticking the wood very well either. It's not pushed down along its length. And that's when you end up getting it squirting out onto your fingers. <laughs> Obviously you got a little bit on the skin there. Gently work it off. Don't pull it. Just gently. There. So don't panic. If you just try jerking it off, you'll probably pull your skin off. So that's our T shape that should be much more rigid. And we'll now try and use that to make the aeroplane. Just for reference, this is the plane I made years ago, and I'm going to basically copy this with a few design changes. Now you can see this one I did make rubber band powered with a propeller off of a little helicopter thing. So I'm going to do something similar this time. Uh, to mount the plastic tube for the propeller guide I'm going to cut up a couple of strips of this 
coffee stirrer, point them down at an angle like that, and then I'll cut up this cotton bud and use that as the tube for the propeller. So we'll cut a few of these up. Just in a, a bit of an angle, just so we can point it forwards a little bit. And it only needs to be about half an inch long. four of them, two for each side. glue them on there like that. And then glue that on the bottom. 